Today, Jisoo won Outstanding Korean Actress at the 17th Seoul International Drama Awards 2022. Winners will be announced on September 22nd at 5 p.m. KST. I am actually shedding tears of joy. Congratulations to Jisoo for winning the SDA Awards, her first ever acting award win. A couple of days ago, new alleged photos of Jennie and BTS's V, as well as other Blackpink members, went viral online. Among the photos released was a selfie of Blackpink members Jisoo and Lisa. But due to the low quality of the photo, some did not believe the photos to be real. However, they changed their minds after Jisoo was spotted at Don Quixote in Rapongi during her visit to Japan, wearing the same outfit as in the leaked photo. And she also uploaded photos of this outfit on Weverse. Jisoo has the same hat, outfit, Hello Kitty mask, and phone case in all of these photos. This made fans worried and demanded that YG Entertainment take action to protect the privacy of their artists. On September 5th at midnight KST, Blackpink unveiled a title teaser poster for their upcoming second studio album, Born Pink. The album, which marks Blackpink's first physical release in nearly two years. With the garage teaser, Blinks have been trying to decipher what could be behind the shutter doors. Fans on K forums pointing this out. They assumed it would be an important detail. They say it looks like, there's a vehicle behind that place. Other think there will be one car and two motorbikes. Some other fans think that the holes represents the number of songs, and the one with lights is Pink Venom since they already released it, so we are only getting 8 tracks on Born Pink. Blinks have been making their theories and looking for hints, but I think this has nothing to do with the title track or the album. We even got like this one in the past, don't you remember about the floor teaser and how you like that? But anyway we're excited to see what Blackpink has in store with Born Pink. What kind of title track are you hoping for? On September 5th KST, Blackpink surpassed 80 million subscribers on their official YouTube channel, making them the first artist ever to reach the milestone. They has made YouTube history once again. In other news, Pink Venom was excluded from the music bank after being deemed unfit for broadcast by KBS. According to the music industry on September 5th, Blackpink's latest release, Pink Venom, was excluded from the music bank chart, after KBS's music review committee deemed the song unfit for broadcast by KBS standards. The committee's reason for the decision on August 24 was that the track violated Article 46 of the broadcast standard such as including a brand name in the lyrics. Lyrics from Pink Venom include a French luxury brand, Celine, which seems to be the issue. It is usual for companies to edit that part and send it back for revision. However, it has been known that YG Entertainment has not asked for revision and has not edited the lyrics. Regarding YG's decision, many fans think that YG has a beef with KBS and Blackpink doesn't really promote in there at the first place. They said Teddy, YG and Blackpink don't care, they will never change words that KBS says are not allowed. What do you think about these? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and stay tuned for updates.